Alright, so I wanted to make this video to show you some ways to make what you print out easier to read. So I've just opened up a sheet um, and it's got um, a journal and the journal is supposed to be in three different pages. So we've got page one, then we scroll down there, page two, and if you try to print it right now, um, I've set it to where everything would print and it would be very difficult to read. See how small that is? So I wanted to keep it all on one page so that when we're actually working it, it's really there in front of us. But what I would recommend doing is just highlighting what you want to be printed on the first page and then go to page layout and then print area and say set print area. Then from there you will print, let me make this where you can see it a little bit better, by just saying file, print, and then I'll choose my printer and it's already there and then I'd say print, okay? And then I would want to print page two. So I would come down here and I'd say, okay, all this should be on page two. And so I go down to right there and again say print area, set print area. And then when I print preview that, I can see that I can read it much better because it's much larger. And I would do the same thing for page three. Then I would click on the next sheet, which is ledger. And that's actually okay. It's not, it's going to be kind of small and you can make it bigger if you want by choosing different areas. But I left it like this to where you can see all of your accounts at one time. And it is um, legible. It's small. But if you'd rather, you can put, make it be in additional pages. And then the trial balance also fits the way that it is. So you can just take a preview of that and that's okay to print like that. So the other option for this, just to let you know why I did that, would be to not make this fit to one page, because right now the reason why it's making it all fit to one page is because I have under page setup fit to one page. So when I have the whole thing highlighted, it is forcing it to fit on one page. You could say, don't fit on one page, make it 100%, but the problem with doing that is that depending on, let's say that we just did, um, let's go ahead and highlight everything and say print me everything and don't make it fit on one page. And, and this is an option to do. Um, so I'll say print area, print everything. Don't squeeze it, don't make it fit on one page, but sometimes, let's see what happens, um, then it breaks in places that I don't want it to. Let's just see where it breaks for me right now. Um, that's page one, that's page two, and you see how you, the second part of your journal entry would be in the wrong spot. And that's okay. Something else you can do then would just to go in there and say, hey, give me a specific page break. So I could do that. Let's see what happens if I do that. I'm just giving you all the different options here. Um, where'd page two go? Right here. All right, I want it to break after that. So I can say insert, and then I'm gonna say page break. Oh, it's under page layout. Page break, break, insert page break. And then go ahead and give me one after page two as well. This may actually work just fine. This might be faster. Insert page layout, break, insert page break. Now let's go check out the print preview. All right, there's page one, that looks good. And then let's go see page two. Oh, that should have been on page one, I'll go fix that. And then let's look at page three. Page three spills over to the next page, which is okay. So I don't know, not perfect, but it's doable. Let me go fix that one page break because my page two where I insert that page break Evidently, I should have been on the line below it in order to page break it where I wanted it to. So I'll say remove page break, then I'll put my cursor right here and say insert page break. And now I always check it by print preview. And if you're doing this for work, you want to always make sure that it's print ready for anybody that might want to print your work. So this is why I spend some time showing you how to do this and giving you these couple different options. Oh look. That belongs to the previous page as well. Um, so the best thing that I can do there is add some space to make that one 
break right there. So what I'll do, if I want to do it like this, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to say, this is you can see where it page break page broke, and I wanted it to fall up there. So I could just add some space. right above it. So to add some space I can just click here, highlight all that, say insert. It's going to insert some rows, just some extra rows. Let's just go see what that looks like now. Print. Alright, page one still looks good. Page two now looks good. And the rest of page two looks good. And page three looks good. And the rest of page three looks good. So at least we don't have any that are spilling off of the page, if you will. Um, but we weren't able to keep the true page 2 to a page 2. It spilled off the page, but at least it was in a good format. So you pick how you like it um, and choose those different ways. And let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.